Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome once again to How to Tune. A um, couple changes that I want to make everybody aware of. Uh, first of all, welcome, everyone, of course, as always. Uh, to any new students we have, welcome. Glad to have you here. And, of course, to all our returning students, welcome, as always. Uh, today is, of course, uh, by request day, and, and I will explain how that works for those of you new to you. But I want to tell you something new and exciting uh, we're doing. You may notice a little bit of change just in the studio. I've, I've moved the camera up because I found I was always looking up anyway. Um, the other thing is this. Um, I'm going to be drawing digitally uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I found that if I draw digitally, then you don't see my hands not blocking the movements. So I'm still drawing my hand but I'm drawing on my new Wacom tablet. And I'm so excited about this. I'm going to share it with you. This massive giant thing here is a Wacom uh, Cintiq 22 inch. So it's uh, quite a bit larger uh, than my old one. And it is just great to use. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. It's, it's sort of changed how I do everything. Uh, I've still got, of course, my Scream Deck over here for my controls, uh, my computer monitor up here, uh, and then uh, computer, uh, phone, and then lighting, and, of course, microphone. So, uh, yeah, so it's still pretty similar uh, setup to uh, what I've had in the past, but I'm going to be drawing a little bit digitally, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I draw in Photoshop but follow along with paper and pen. If you have a software you like to use, that's fine. If you use an iPad, whatever you like to do. The nice thing is we can add a little bit of color now if I want to. Um, I can make changes a little bit easier too, and so forth. So this will be our first class um, drawn on my brand new Wacom 22 inch, which is very exciting for me because I, I, as you all know, I love Wacom and I love their products. So this is exciting for me to be able to draw on something brand new. We'll see how it goes. Um, and uh, we'll see if everybody likes it, okay? All right, let's get ready to draw. It is a buy request Friday. I've got a couple requests already came in. Um, we've got a request for a flamingo playing soccer and a monster on a lightning bolt. So go ahead and get those requests in. And let's get ready to draw. Okay, so uh, you should see on screen my uh, uh, Photoshop, actually, which is what I'm using to draw in. And we're going to start off with Flamingo playing soccer. All right, so you can see on the left-hand side is where I have my color palette um, and my selection tools. And over here, layers. But we're just going to be drawing. So, we're going to start with the eyes. We've got a circle. Letter C backwards. Period and period. Everything should come right up on the screen. Follow along just as you would. The only difference is you don't see my hand drawing. Because instead of the camera, it's being done by hand um, using a stylus or pen and my Wacom 
Sensik 22. Okay, now the beak. Come down, out, up, dash, dash. All right, tip of the nose, and a little line like that. And now you can color that in, but because I'm working on a computer, I'm just going to fill it in like that. But you can color it by hand. That's fine. Now for the lower part of the beak, come down, up, down, up, keep coming around and connect to the eye. Tongue right there, and then shade in. Eyebrows. And then we're going to come around to the side right into the jaw. Now for the neck, right down, follow that line right back up. Around, around for the collar of the shirt. Line out, down, up, line down, and up. Line out, down, in. And then wings. Okay. Okay, come down, 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 in, Okay, uh, and then we're going to give uh, soccer cleats. So it's down and then up. Some laces, just like that. 
and then Okay, now um, we'll put a number on the shirt. I always like to put number eight for any time I'm drawing a sports character. But any number you want to add is fine. I just pick eight because that's my daughter Lida's number. Oh, okay, so I have a request to, to color the character. So I'm going to show you... Uh, Oh, I gotta still draw the soccer ball. <laughs> so let's add the soccer ball in here. It goes right next to the foot. And then I'm gonna color in each of those spots. I'm just using a fill tool. And maybe a couple loose feathers on top of the head. And then tail feathers. And then sign your name, take pride in your work. All right. So if I'm going to color, I'm going to add a little bit of grass in here. All right, so when I color something, for those of you who'd like to see that, what I do is I actually add another layer. So I do something called duplicate layer, like that. And then I work on this second layer. I would something usually call that my, rename that color. And then I let's see, make the beak yellow, make the tongue a red. Flamingo, of course, pink. Uh, the legs, yellow. Uh, I'm going to go with the red for the shirt. Go maybe a darker red around. Well, you mean like a dark pink there? Um, the eight, I'm going to make that yellow as well. Shoes will probably keep white grass, of course, green. Oops. So if you see that happen where something pours out, it means that there is a gap somewhere. There we go. So fix that. Um, I got those two little things on top of the head, little feathers there. Oops, that was obviously... There we go. Close that off. Close that off. And then um, the shorts, I'm just going to make, uh, I'll make them blue. But I'll give a white stripe on them, maybe. All right. Uh, cleats, maybe I'll add a little gray in here. There we go. Um, so there it is in color. Um, if I were doing this uh, for a work assignment, I would actually, what I would do is actually add some shading in too. Okay. All right. So there we go. That is our, I'm going to merge that down. And there is our, Flamingo playing soccer. Okay, uh, next up, uh, I had a couple requests. I had one for a monster on a motorcycle, but I also had a monster riding a lightning bolt. And so what I think I'm going to do is a monster on a motorcycle, um, but there'll be a lightning bolt on the motorcycle. So we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, as we go. All right. Uh, motorcycles are, are, motorcycles and cars 
are among my least favorite things in the world to draw. Or draw. Um, simply because I'm not very good at it. So it takes a lot of patience for me. But that's okay. It's important to try new things. All right. So a monster on a motorcycle. All right. Here we go. So we're going to start with uh, our monster. This is going to be fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to give them three eyes. But we're going to make them goggles. So to do that, we're just going to come around like this. All right. And then I'm going to fill that in. There we go. Then a line here. Around. And then add the pupils in. One, two, three. Good. Um, I like to do bushy eyebrows on my monsters. And he's got just a thing like this. Kind of like what Snoopy wears. All right. Line here, line here. Let's add a snout. Down. In. Dash. Let's add some teeth. Good. Let's come back here. Going to add a little rectangle and then add horns. And then we just see part of the horn on this side. shading and then all right all right come down down and we're gonna come around like this Good. All right. Now, the handlebars. Small circle, line in, line in. This is the part that takes a lot of time and effort. So, down, over, up. Follow that down, over, up. Continue down. And then add an arm right here, wrapping around. And then maybe you see just a little bit of that handlebar sticking out and a little bit of the tentacle underneath. Good. All right, got a line down like this. Right here, I'm going to add a line on and add a headlight. Okay, line down. Around and up and in. Now, motorcycles are very time-consuming drawings. Round, round, and then 
right here we've got sort of a rectangle and then we have the gas tank. All right. Let's add the lightning bolt right here. Right, so back here, then underneath the legs, you've got the seat. And that I'm going to fill in. Oops. That's why you got to make sure you close off all your lines when you work digitally. Like that. And I'm going to add just some little bit of white lines in here just to add some texture. Okay, good. Still going on our motorcycle. It's a very time-consuming one. We're going to take our time on this, make it look nice. Something we can be real proud of. I've got a fender here. Or a, uh, yeah, I guess, is that called a fender? I think so. And then you got to add a wheel. And then add, oh, let's add a little line down here. And then add a circle. And then just the suggestion of spokes. Okay, and then you're going to fill that in. All right. Line down, up. In. Then we're going to add a rectangle here. And then we're going to add some miscellaneous uh, parts. They should look like they make sense, but I don't really know what they are. So we just sort of draw in some what would be, I don't know, believable as various parts on a motorcycle. Okay, so there's no rhyme or reason to that. Just has to look like it all makes sense. Also adding just a couple lines to show that this is chrome. It's one of our most detailed drawings we've ever done. All right, come down. Up, flare out, and in. Tail light. Line down, circle, line up. Around, around. Yeah, this one takes a lot of patience. I think this is one you'd, you'd really need to watch more than once. I don't think once is enough for this one. Around and then same sort of thing. I will do a, a special day where I teach how to make mazes, but it's very, very time consuming. So it takes a lot of work for the mazes, but I will definitely do it. I'm gonna add some stripes. Yeah. 
maybe some polka dots. line on their chin there and then sign your name take pride in your work there is your motorcycle monster I think I'm gonna uh, not color because I think coloring will take too long right now and I want to be able to do one more request so let's see if we have one more request See if we have any more requests here today. Oh, and be sure to remember to please remember to uh, like and subscribe. Okay. Very good. So there is our monster on a motorcycle. Uh, it's a monster, so it can be scary, it can be funny, it can be silly. Uh, it can be ugly, it can be horrible, it can be gross. It's a monster. There's no wrong way to draw a monster. However, it turns out is just fine. Okay. All right. So again, please like and subscribe. All right. So we do have another request from our good friend Aria, who would like to see an elephant on roller skates eating ice cream. Very good. We will do that then. There goes our monster. Elephant on roller skates eating ice cream. Okay. Very good. All right. Here we go. Um, remember again, please like and subscribe. All right. Here we go. Um, elephant on roller skates eating ice cream. Oval, letter C backwards, period, and period. Roller skate specifically. Okay, you got it. Around like that. Couple lines around, leave a gap in like this. Now, there's a reason I left that gap there. Okay, the reason I left that gap there is because that triangle needs to go right there. There we go. Then you can bring that back in up to here. A little bit of texture on there. And then nostril. And a couple of little wrinkles here and there. One out, down, up, down, and up. And then we see the tongue inside there. And then fill in. <laughs> the primary tools I use when I'm um, working in Photoshop are the brush tool, which is set for a particular kind of pen called a Belgian. Um, and it's set for this drawing at 33 um points is how, how big it is, but um, normally I work at about 20. Um, and then I use the fill bucket to color things in. All right. Connect there. Okay. Ice cream. Okay, eyebrows. And 
top of the head, some hair, and then come across the top like this with a zigzag. Out, down, point, up, in. Out, down, up, in. Up, in, and down. Arm. Down. Across. Across and up. Good. Wrinkles in the knees. Letter M. Add one. Out, down, letter M, scribble. Okay, continue down. Up and connect. Line across, line across, line there. Okay, now roller skates. Start with the basic shoe, and then have a line going across the bottom. Bottom, laces, okay, then the wheels, one, two, one, and then a stopper, so it looks like this, one, two, one, Two, and then the little stopper, and then you color in those wheels. Tail. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your elephant roller skating. Little red for the cherry on top. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. Um, I've got a little extra time today. So let's go ahead and do one more. Um, we've got a request for... Where did I have a request for a dragon on the beach? I thought I saw. Is that right? Let's see. Where was dragon on the beach? There it is. Dragon on the beach. All right, then. Let's do one more. And that last one will be a dragon on the beach. All right. So um, let us start with some sunglasses. So 
So it's basically a letter B turn on its side and the stretched out triangle. And then what we do is we add a little bit of reflection in here, which is a couple lines down. And then you can shade in around that. See? All right. My brows. So down, up, up, down. Letter C backwards, down, point, up to there. I'm going to combine because I see I've got a request for a monster and a motorboat and a dragon and a beach. So we're going to compromise. We're going to draw a dragon in a motorboat at the beach. Okay. Nice little compromise there. Okay. I'm going to leave a little gap there. Come up around. The little gap I like to give dragons sometimes like a little beard like this. Teeth. Okay, they have the teeth in. Just let her V over and over. And then add the tongue in here and then line down. And then I'm going to shade in that area and I'll line down. Okay. All right, from the top of the head here, come down. Arm going like that, other arm out like this. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, and up. Uh, Robin, I believe, requested a monster in a motorboat. Okay. Up, down. Out, down, down. Oh, yes, Xavier. Very good. Okay. Up, out, in, down. Line out, down, in, down. Xavier, yes, yeah, sorry. I uh, read the names on the screen, so I don't always remember everybody's name when I look. So I'll try my best to remember that. <laughs> We're at eight likes. Can we get a couple more likes up there, everybody? Come down, down. And then you just draw like that. Now, don't worry, we're going to add some water there. So we got another line like this. Two lines like that. Now the water. So we're just sort of coming like this.
Okay, continue down here. And then we're going to have the tail sticking out like this. Can the dragon have wings? Oh, I always forget to add wings to other dragons. Maybe you can sneak some in right here. We'll see. Um, line down, and then add a couple lines of the stomach. Guess we can sneak in some little wings here. How's that? I'm going to leave the other one because I need to add the um, crenellations, those little spiky things on the back. So then if you did add wings, the other wing just goes right back there. You don't have to add wings if you don't want to, but there are some little wings if you want to. Give them some polka dots. Yeah, just draw what you have room for. Don't worry about it. I have a lot of room, so I added extra water. Um, I'm going to add a thin line right here to my boat, and then I'm going to just shade that in. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of uh, texture to the boat. We've got another little spike right here on top of the head. Sure, you want some sunshine? We'll add some sunshine. I'll add a little bit of spot color. How's that? Maybe uh, color in the water. And I'll color in the sun. Okay. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. Well. Excellent job, everybody, today. There is your dragon with just a little bit of color. Um, so I hope uh, everybody's enjoyed uh, working um, with me using this computer tablet from Wacom um, rather than on paper and pen. I feel like you can see what I'm drawing a little bit better this way. And um, also, hopefully, adding a little bit of color uh, makes it fun for you guys as well if you guys like that i think what i'll probably do is continue to do just that i'll continue to work using the wacom tablet just because uh, it's easy for me um i don't go through as much paper i've got like thousands and thousands of drawings now built up that i'm actually donating uh to a children's hospital so um, i'll be doing that soon all right well thank you all uh so much um, please uh, remember if you're entering the contest to send in the drawing of your pet we're going to be picking people's pets for us to learn how to draw so keep that in mind you can also always just send me fan mail hello how are you that kind of stuff too um, always glad to hear from you I appreciate it so much thanks everybody for uh, visiting today and have a wonderful wonderful weekend I will see you early next week um at, which will be on monday for a whole new classes i'll see you monday but i want to let you know uh check the times i might have to change the times uh, for next week classes because i'm teaching for the schultz museum so the class is either going to be 
earlier or later than usual. I haven't quite decided, but I will let everyone know. So keep an eye on the community section of How to Tune. And remember to stay tuned, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>